So, um, pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So he uh, he did this with his left hand, his non-dominant hand, and then when it came to having to do some more precision work, I said, now go in with your dominant hand for the background. And he was able to cut into the entirety of the foliage. And then he cut so much into it, then he came back with his non-dominant his non-dominant hand, or did you? I didn't see that part, did you? Okay. <laughs> and then he came back and he filled it in again. So now he's gonna be working both all the time. Left hand, right hand, left hand. Where he doesn't want it to be precise, which is the foliage and the flowers, and wants something a little more abstract, come in with your non-dominant hand. Or you want something more precise, come in with your dominant hand. This is a perfect example of what I've been talking about. See how that works? And I mean, it's a beautiful piece. And then he gathered all the texture, and which, by the way, I think the entirety is, is done with, yeah, you did just using these two. Look how, look how precise he can with that. And he's not done. We're still going to keep working on the vase a little bit more. The vase is going to come in with his non dominant hand because it's looking very tight right now, and that's okay. But the colors, everything has just a beautiful balance, right? It's, how do you feel about it? Uh, it's a little ragged. Right a little ragged? Ragged. What do you find that's ragged for you? Oh, just the left side has got too many. Uh, I have to cover up some stuff. As soon as your mind starts telling you to put in detail, step away. I'd, okay. step, I'd really step away and start another painting. Because your, your brain's fighting it. Like, no, no, that's not where you want it to be, okay? It's a struggle. It's a struggle. So I uh, release the struggle by walking away from the canvas and repeat this process again, and then and force yourself to go even more abstract. I don't go in the area of perfectionism or detail. Go the opposite way. Go, remember I said, like, you look at everything that you look, that, that is speaking to you in your painting, and if it's pushing to you towards the area where you were, you run the opposite way. Okay? So if it's like, ah, it needs, it needs a bit more detail, you immediately say, no, I'm going to mess up the detail. And purposely, purposely, be, be rebellious at work. Okay? And, uh, I mean, you were already rebellious at this, you didn't want to go here, and look what came out. I'm like, wow. He has a, oh, a lot of dimension in that. There's a lot of dimension in that. And he worked it with like, he knew it was like dark, medium, right light. Yeah, the composition works, everything. <coughs> and even the, the level of refinement of the leaves and the way that it's just they're kind of just curving, they're dangling, and it's all that. Before you, I'm just going to suggest this. Um, before you, I, like, this doesn't bother me. I'd say I love these nuanced colors. Mm -hmm. They're just yummy. Think about putting some of those there. Because that would. The only reason I did it is because the sun's coming from that way. Yeah. yeah. But so, so then maybe, yeah. maybe it's just a. You'll figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, put things out there. Something like that. Those tiny little flowers are just amazing are they nice? how they how they pick up the background color and just because I know you were a dentist now they remind me of teeth. Oh, did you have his little teeth in there? Everywhere. I know my teeth. I know my teeth. And they're, I know they're a little anatomy of everything. That's why I'm so mixed up. I was thinking of everything. Yeah, no, but I just, because he was a dentist, I thought he got his detail in there and they're a little deep. I would suggest working just, on. just keep them working in this way. You know, mm. make sure that it becomes just second nature to you and just like you're just rolling these out like that left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. And you could tell he had a good time. Like when he first started that first yeah. day, he was like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first day he was like, uh, I can't hold a brush. And I'm looking yeah. like, that's that's pretty good brushwork. He goes, no, no, I'm like, no, listen, this is good brushwork. Like I know good brushwork when I see it. And he's like, no, I'm like, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> that's, that's all right. It's yeah. part of the process. <laughs> Yeah. Right, that's what you were saying, I actually. Yeah. I was going to say, too, at the horizon line, the, the leaves hanging down. Oh, mm -hmm. cut it, crop. Yeah, cut it either. They both like, stop. That's a visual tangent right there. Yeah, he's not done, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. To his credit, he's not done. It's okay. still a work in progress. So, But I, I just want to show this to you because yeah. he's, one of, he's the third person in class who went a non-dominant hand. And it's another case for me, as if the painting was 
just this mm -hmm. square there, yeah. you know, how gorgeous that. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to, it's like, yummy. You're all going to get to that point. You're going to eliminate that loss. <laughs> You're going to be like, I don't need it anymore. I crash. Gone.